What is the most dangerous meteorite that threatens life on Earth? This question has sparked the curiosity of many, fueling countless Hollywood blockbusters and bedtime stories. The idea of a looming cosmic threat is indeed fascinating, but in reality, it's a bit more complex. You see, singling out one near-Earth object, or NEO, as the most dangerous is not just misleading, but it can also stir unnecessary panic. The truth is, the danger presented by a meteorite isn't determined by one factor alone. It's a combination of its size, composition, impact velocity, and the angle at which it strikes Earth. So rather than focusing on a single most dangerous meteorite, it's more productive to understand how scientists assess the risk of all NEOs. They're constantly monitoring and tracking these objects, refining their understanding and improving our planetary defenses. Therefore, let's delve deeper into the fascinating world of NEO risk assessment and understand how we're safeguarding our blue planet. So, instead of focusing on a single, most dangerous meteorite, we need to understand how scientists assess the risk of all NEOs. Let's delve into the concept of NEO risk assessment. When we talk about assessing the potential threat of near-Earth objects or NEOs, there are several key factors that astronomers take into account. The first, and probably the most obvious, is size. Larger objects naturally have the potential to cause more damage than smaller ones. Think of it like this. Would you rather be hit by a pebble or a boulder? Next, we consider the composition of the NEO. Is it metallic or carbonaceous? This is important because metallic asteroids are more likely to survive their journey through our atmosphere intact, while carbonaceous ones are more likely to break up before hitting the surface. Then, we look at the object's impact velocity, or how fast it's moving. A faster-moving NEO will release more energy upon impact, which means more devastation. Imagine throwing a baseball versus a fastball. The faster it goes, the harder it hits. Finally, we examine the impact angle. A glancing blow can disperse the object's energy over a wider area, while a direct hit focuses it all in one place. This is why meteor showers, which are caused by small particles hitting our atmosphere at an angle, are beautiful to watch but don't cause any significant damage. It's important to note that astronomers are constantly monitoring and tracking NEOs using these factors. And while it might be tempting to focus on a specific doomsday rock, the reality is that no known NEO poses an immediate threat to Earth. Rather than sparking unnecessary fear, we should be acknowledging the ongoing research and international collaboration that's dedicated to keeping our planet safe. As you can see, NEO risk assessment is a complex process that takes into account many variables. It's not as simple as pointing to one most dangerous object, Instead, it's a continual process of monitoring, assessing, and planning, a testament to our commitment to understanding and protecting our home planet. But what is the real threat we should be worried about? Well, it's not a single meteorite or asteroid. In fact, no known near-Earth object poses an immediate threat to our planet. The real danger lies in complacency and misinformation. If we focus too much on the idea of a single devastating impactor, we may overlook the importance of ongoing research and the ever-vigilant watch kept by astronomers worldwide. This is where international collaboration comes into play. Our best defense against potential asteroid threats is a united front. Scientists across the globe work together, sharing data and refining detection techniques to ensure we're prepared for any cosmic curveballs. So, the real threat isn't a rogue rock hurtling through the cosmos, it's misunderstanding the nature of the risk and underestimating the value of scientific collaboration. Rather than focusing on a specific doomsday rock, we should appreciate the ongoing efforts to protect our planet. So, what should we remember about NEOs and the threat they pose to Earth? Well, first off, the vast majority of near-Earth objects are absolutely harmless, silently gliding by our planet without causing a stir. It's important not to lose sight of this fact amidst all the talk of potential threats. Secondly, our best defense against NEOs isn't a superhero or a space fleet, but rather continuous scientific monitoring and tracking. This diligence allows us to identify and assess any potential risks long before they become imminent threats. Thirdly, remember that this isn't a solo battle. International collaboration is crucial in developing effective planetary defense strategies. We're all in this together, after all. And lastly, let's not get caught up in the drama of specific dangerous objects. This can lead to unnecessary fear and distract from the broader research efforts. By understanding the science behind NEO assessment and the ongoing efforts to protect our planet, we can move forward with informed awareness instead of undue worry.